Hello gamers, it is Echo here, and I'm gonna make a quick video right now because some interesting news dropped. And the reason I say quick video is because there's not a whole lot of information, and I don't want to rant for too long, and because I have V for Vendetta running in the background and my power just went out, and it just came back on, and I want to finish watching it. So I'm just gonna make this video quick because this movie is awesome, and I'm not even finished with it. Okay, back on topic. So, Microsoft, they just uh, basically... Well, not just, but a while ago, later uh, this day, they said that they're reversing their policy on DRM. And so basically, you guys are probably like, yeah, Xbox, it doesn't suck dick. Well, it still does. But um, basically, the only things they took off are you can basically, you can trade your used games, you can trade games. So I don't know if you can still trade games or not. I'm assuming you can, but... Basically, they're removing their policy on used games. Now, they're also removing the 24-hour check-in. Now, this is good because this shows that we have a voice and we can control what happens. This shows that the gamers are in power, not the companies. But what I don't like is that Microsoft thought they could do this in the first place. Now, the, I don't think that people are, who were going to buy a PS4 just for this... They shouldn't go back to Xbox now because they shouldn't be. Microsoft should not be rewarded for trying to give gamers something that Sony already offered from the beginning. They shouldn't be rewarded for that. They they should be punished for that because they thought they could shove this down our throats. But you, we said no. We're not doing that. We're just going to go with PC or Sony. We're not going to follow your rules. See, it's just they think they can save themselves. They probably will save quite a bit of money from doing that but they think they can save themselves with that it's still a hundred bucks more the connect is still always on and there's still a laundry list of problems that i don't like now considering they did take away the very important parts that i didn't like like drm and no use games those were my main concerns they took those away but it's not even about features anymore it's about principle they thought that they could make us take this they thought that hey you know what Let's just do this, because it'll make us money, and they can't do anything about it. And you know what? We did do something about it. We said no. And they shouldn't be rewarded for being, oh, we made a huge mi we, we made a huge mistake. We gotta cover that up. No, they shouldn't be rewarded that. They should be punished for that. They should be punished for thinking that they could make us do this in the first place. Don't reward them because they went back and said, oh, no, you know what? Oh, no, we, that's a bad idea. We don't like that. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's give them what they want now that they yelled at us for quite a bit. No, just don't, you don't reward a dog for not shitting on the floor after he shit on the floor for like a week, okay? You punish him for shitting on the floor. Microsoft shit on the floor. You don't, and then they, they just clean it up. You don't reward them for messing up, okay? They messed up, that's all it is. They messed up, and the, and the magnitude they messed up in is huge. Because they try to screw over, what is it, like a, a, a couple million people? How many people are on Xbox Live? Or, I know, how many even, how many people even bought an Xbox? That's what I want to know. People who bought the Xbox 360 and the Xbox, they tried to screw them over, okay? It doesn't matter if they bought the Xbox or if they bought the Xbox 360, if they bought both, if they bought one of them. And they tried to screw them over. Anyone even considering an Xbox One, they screwed them over, Okay? And that's the magnitude. They screwed up. I don't know how many people are on Xbox right now, but they screwed up, okay? They tried to scam them. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. They tried to scam them. What they were doing was a, was a scam. Because they're taking something that's terrible and they're putting it in a nice package trying to pass it off as something good. They tried to scam a couple million people. That's not okay. And now that they're going back on it, they think that everyone's just gonna... Be, accept them for what it is. No. We have to think about what they actually did. They tried to cheat people out of their hard-earned cash. They tried to sell you games that you don't own. That's not okay. Now, I'm not trying to convince you to buy an, uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation. I don't care what you buy. I'm just trying to say that just because they went back on what they said, you shouldn't reward them for that. It's... I'm just, I might be a little biased because I hate them now, and the, I might be a little biased because I started with the PlayStation and then they screwed me over with this, 
But, you know, I, I own both. I don't have a preference. I, I like the Xbox 360. I own one, and I use it probably... I've probably played more hours on that than I have my PlayStation 3. I've probably played about three or four times more on my Xbox than I have on my PlayStation. I enjoy the Xbox 360 more than I do the PlayStation 3. I'll say that right now. I do like the exclusives on PlayStation 3 better, but overall, I prefer the Xbox 360. And you know what? I'm not going to buy an Xbox One. I'm not going to get both. I'm only going to get the PlayStation 4. And the reason for this is, is because it's principle, okay? It's not about what's better at this point. It's about principle, okay? I don't care that Xbox is made in the United States. I don't care that it has, I don't care that it's always connected to the cloud and they can do all these wonderful things. I don't care about any of that anymore. What I care about is principle. I know I've said this a lot, but that I'm just trying to emphasize how I feel right now. They tried to cheat people out of their money and make them think they own things when they don't. It's just... I don't get how they thought they could get away with this. Okay? It's like... It just... I, I'm struggling to find words for how utterly ridiculous this... Their, their plan was, whatever it was, whether there was a marketing strategy or plan, I don't know what it was, but it was stupid, that's all I know, that's all I know about it, okay? <sighs> I'm just, I'm just in awe of the audacity they have. It's just, ugh, it makes me sick, that's what it does. It's, it's not right. Now, I'm probably not going to buy... Actually, I'm not going to buy an Xbox One. I'm buying a PlayStation 4. And I'm giving a big middle finger to Microsoft. I used to think they were okay. Like, I didn't I didn't have a burning hatred for them as I do now. But... I'm just going to end this off with a big middle finger to Microsoft. Have a nice day. <laughs>